Hi, I'm Kevin Darty, the Education Director for the Illinois Ag in the Classroom Program, and we're here today with another look at Beyond the Barn Door, some ways that you might be involved in agriculture that you didn't even know about. Well, coming up this weekend, it's Mother's Day. I hope you're all ready and you have your, your new Mother's Day presents purchased. How does Mother's Day involve agriculture? Let's just take a look. Mother's Day goes back all the way to the time of the Greeks and the Romans, and in the spring, they would celebrate mothers. The Greeks specifically celebrated the, the goddess Rhea, and the Romans celebrated with Sibella. And what they were trying to do was they had spring festivals in honor of mothers. Continue that to the 1600s in England, where they actually had something called Mothering Sunday, the fourth Sunday following Lent, right after Easter. Take that to 1870, Julia Ward. You might know that name. She's the lady that wrote the Battle Hymn of the, the Battle Hymn of the Republic. She was an activist and she fought for a Mother's Day in the United States. Really, it was more mothers against the war. She was a social activist right around the time of the Civil War. But it wasn't until 1914 that President Wilson, President Wilson declared the second Sunday, the second Sunday in May, as our official Mother's Day. There was a lady who fought for that. Her name was Anna Jarvis, and Anna Jarvis originally wanted to honor mothers. But what she found out was greeting card companies, chocolate companies, and flower man, flower uh, People that sold flowers were making a profit off of it. It wasn't what she necessarily wanted. But speaking of that, flowers. This is one of the most popular days for flowers. And how, of course, flowers do involve agriculture. In Illinois, there are over 186 farmers that actually farm flowers that you might purchase for your Mother's Day for your Mother's Day thing. Under 800, over 800 acres of flowers are grown here in Illinois. There's a whole area associated with the florist industry. Not only the Illinois Farm Bureau, but the Illinois Green Industry Association. There's a link to that in, uh, in the website. There's a link to that. But that they're also the folks that help promote flowers and the green industry. Anything doing with flowers, floriculture, horticulture, that type of thing. One of the most popular flowers is the carnation. And the carnation is supposed to be the symbol for a mother's love. So that's it. Not only will you probably buy a card and maybe some flowers for your mom, you might take her out for breakfast or for lunch or maybe for a combination brunch. Mother's Day is the most popular day to eat out in the United States. Why? Because mom doesn't have to cook. So when you go to brunch, one of my favorite things to do is enjoy French toast, which ironically is neither French nor toast. What it really is, is it's, it was a use for stale bread dipped in egg and milk and fried. So it's kind of toasted, but it's kind of baked. But think about how this works. That French toast goes really well with Illinois pork sausage or bacon. However, it takes wheat farmers to grow the bread. And in Illinois, two of our leading counties are Washington and Randolph counties down in southern Illinois that grow the most wheat that could end up in bread. Also, eggs, one billion eggs are laid in Illinois. Our chicken farmers collect those eggs and we enjoy those as part of our French toast uh, breakfast or brunch. Illinois is the 21st state, 21st state in egg production. You also need some milk. Two counties lead production in dairy and milk. That would be Clinton County in south central Illinois and Stevenson County up in the northern part. Uh, so those are areas that grow a lot of milk. But you've got your French toast. You've got your nice pork side dish. But what do you put on top of your French toast? Well, you might be familiar with syrup. Now, sometimes you have syrup, and what you might think about syrup is syrup like this, Aunt Jemima, something like that, probably comes from corn. It's corn syrup grown here in Illinois. There's also maple syrup, and you're going to find it has a slightly different taste than what you're used to, but maple syrup, we actually have several farms in Illinois that actually produce syrup for resale as well. It comes from trees. Now, we couldn't have farms without farm moms. I've got a couple special features for you in the website that go along with this. I encourage you to go learn a little bit more about Ruth Zeldenruss from the Cook County up in the Chicago area. Ruth, as she grows greenhouse flowers and plants, specifically for Mother's Day, and another one, Audra Winant from Central Illinois, she grows fresh flowers for resale all across the state. Not only are they raising flowers, they're raising families too. And again, you can't have Mother's Day without a little bit of agriculture. We'll see you soon.